Hello crafters and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sort Out. I'm sure this is your first time of stopping by my channel. Please do well to subscribe to this channel. Let's build this community together. It promises to be a sweet journey. In this video, I'm going to be teaching us how to make this beautiful floral hoop for bridesmaids. As you can see, it's not a regular, it's not a regular one. So in this tutorial, we need um, a cane like this, a flower, um, this is called paper tape, this trim is UHU, my hot glue, my hot glue gun. And so this is what we'll do. We'll cut this particular cane into four equal sizes, like we have it here. So after doing that, I will start joining them together like this and then wrapping it with my paper tape. Like this. I'll take the other one. And wrap it same way. Wrap it same way. Then come to the last end. Have it wrapped also. last end and here we have our four corner and so we have it all joined together so, and the next thing I'll be doing now is to take my trimmies and wrap it around it in order to give it stability and to make it firm while holding it so I'm sorry guys why we doing I didn't know I wasn't covering it well but what I was doing right here is wrapping it firmly wrapping the trimmies firmly on the hoof and that I kept doing, doing and doing. Nice. And crafters, we are coming to the end of our covering. In fact, without adding the flower, you see how beautiful it's, the, the hoop is looking already. 
now at this end you tighten it the more and as it is this is the time you will be needing your hot glue you must you must have plugged it down before time and check if it is hot enough for you to use and then you apply to the um, trimmings and edit hold it down rather for it to gl glue together with with it by this time you will see the difference in the firmness yes it is more stable now very very stable very very stable and so now you start to um put your flower arrange your flower but first cut the greener greenery the flower i mean the leaf part of it yes you cut it and then start applying the glue gumming it down and that is what you will do but the at this point you will use your discretion in deciding where exactly you want it to lay so as you are arranging it you make sure you are gluing it down so that at the end it won't be removing yeah just one rose flower is beautiful already i also want to tell you that you can make use of different colors of um, roses you understand i actually make use of what i have on ground so you can make use of different colors depending on the bride and what they want you understand also thank you viewers for watching i want to appreciate you for staying true to the end of this video i hope this video is helpful i also want to say that you should please subscribe to my channel there's a new youtube channel actually and i want to promise that subsequently i'll be coming up with videos like this on this channel things that has to do with bride bridas bridal accessories bridal ways even normal day to day ways i'll be coming up with it as time permits please do well to subscribe to my channel i'm seeing it once again do well to subscribe to my channel and i promise that with with clarity and simplicity we'll be teaching ourselves and getting better thank you so so much and here is the hint of the um of the um the video yes it's beautiful actually and i hope you can confirm to it yeah, it's very very beautiful so thank you viewers thank you thank you very 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 much i'm trying to add uh, more greenery to it actually to make it look fuller yeah thank you very very much